good morning uh, we will see how intercostal drain will function what is the function of intercostal drain before i moving to topic shall i ask one question tell me what are the indication for intercostal drain you may have seen several intercostal drain insertion and those are in situ in the icu in the wards up as well so what are the indication for icu insertion before i am moving into indication if your patient is having pneumothorax and hemothorax or hemothorax with the, without symptoms you can manage conservatively if it is less than 15 to 20% of hemothorax i will repeat it again asymptomatic patient asymptomatic patient with minimal minimal that mean 15 to 20 percent of hemithorax collection if your patient that mean 15 percent of one lung collection can manage conservative other patients will most of the time other patients will need ICTU. I will explain one by one. Number one is pneumothorax. As we all know, following release of tension pneumothorax, we are rapidly asking for a ICTU to continue to drain of the that pneumothorax part. That means following following release of tension pneumothorax. Following release of tension pneumothorax, you have to insert IC tube. Second one, the pneumothorax patient. Now we are going to mechanically ventilate. Definitely, you should have IC tube. Mechanically, that is because when you are mechanically ventilating the patient, you create a positive pressure ventilator, positive pressure inside the lung. Because of that, air leak can be more. and your patient can develop tension pneumothorax other one is once you remove the spontaneous pneumothorax small amount if it is repeatedly accumulated repeated collection it may be fluid or it may be air you may have to insert ic tube this is for mainly pneumothorax and other one is large post symptomatic pleural effusion Large O, symptomatic pleural effusion. If your patient having large O symptomatic pleural effusion, you have to insert IC tube. Other one, huh? number three, pus collection, blood collection, presence of pus, blood, sometimes chylothorax. when you are inserting epidural sorry inserting central line you can damage if you are going to do it in the this side that mean left side you can damage thoracic duct and you can create chylothorax pus bundle of chylothorax you have to insert ic tube the fourth indication is the fourth indication is If your patient undergoes surgery, thoracotomy or thoracotomy or thoracoscopy, following surgery they insert IC tube and patient sent to you. That is because if your patient can develop pneumothorax because that cut marking of the lung can be a leak. So those are the indications for IC tube insertion. We'll see what are the part of the IC tube. Not the IC tube, intercostal drain system. The proper name should be intercostal drain system. The intercostal drain system consisting of tube. You may have seen from patient into the bottle, tubing and bottle, bottle containing water. I will explain single bottle IC drain system first. So, single bottle IC drain system containing tube which come from the patient end. patient chest 
or truly speaking patient pleural cavity from patient pleural cavity that tube submerge in the water column the water should be sterile water the submerge near about 2 cm 2 cm submerge within the water column the diameter of the this tank this bottle nearly about 20 mm cm that means radius is 10 cm roughly about in addition to that there is another tube which do not contact with the water and it directly contact with the air that tube does not allow to develop high pressure in this system for a while we think your patient now getting pneumothorax now air come from here and come into here if you do not have this tube the air can bubble through this water and air accumulate into this part and the pressure will go rise because of that the pressure within the here is gradually increasing because of that the patient can't further more exhale further more remove their accumulated air normally total cavity pressure is negative how much negative it is in the apex it is somewhere around 7.5 to 10 cm h2 in the base it is somewhere somewhere around 2.5 cm h2 to bubble the air from patient to bottle patient should actively expirate or patient should cough in that two situation the air will come into the bottle we we'll think your patient having pneumothorax not none why we are sub imaging 2 cm not more than that because when your patient expirate that 2 cm of air column sorry water pressure 2 cm water amount of water high pressure have to overcome in order to remove the gases if your patient if we are going to fill this one up to this much for a while we think 15 cm that mean your patient should have additional 15 cm water pressure in the pleural cavity in order to remove the air that mean air can still stuck in the pleural cavity if your water column is too much high why you should have large bottle is in case if patient is rapidly breathing with a negative pressure air can so water can draw into the tube if you have large bottle that amount of water draw into the tube can be maximum otherwise after that air can go through this path i will repeat it again if you have, if you have a large bottle with a 2 cm containing large amount of volume 2 cm height with the large bottle containing large volume of water in case of more negative pre pre pressure creation as example if upper airway become obstructed due to some reasons now patient try to breathe against the cross gottis or cross upper airway the pleural cavity pressure may be much more negative because of that fluid try to go back so it prevent by having large bottle with 2 to 3 cm water column this tube approximately 100 cm size length 100 cm length that, that mean 1 m length tube is there the volume within the tube is approximately 500 that mean approximately 500 cc approximate to the tidal volume in case of patient taking the tidal volume in case of patient taking tidal volume the uh, whatever whatever the present in here is usually not going into the lung because the volume in the tubing system is 500 cc in addition to that that some submerge also part also give a very very important function it act as a one way valve they are comes from here and go outside they are come out, come from here and go into this part and go into outside but they are cannot come in outside to inside so it act as one way valve okay so 
submerged water part is very very important you have to repeatedly assess your patient submerged water column how much is there in order to function it well so this is single bottle system but there are some problem associated with single bottle system i will explain it one by one the main disadvantage of the single bottle system i previously told this one is not only for pneumothorax you can use for hemothorax as well but with the hemothorax or fluid collection in the pleural cavity with the gradually drainage this 2 cm goes up this 2 cm gradually goes up so so your patient now can develop now have to develop very very high pressure in order to overcome this column height to really release the to release the air do you get the my point because now with the accumulation this 2 cm now goes up up about now 10 cm so in order to remove the air from this end here now should have additional 8 cm h2 pressure in order to overcome the this additional resistance so with the accumulation morning you put a ic tube you insert this one even in patient draining some amount 300 400 with that the pressures goes up so pleural cavity accumulation more and more now air can accumulate so this is not a good system in that kind of case in addition to that with this accumulation you may not you may not be able to precisely identify the amount of drain so amount of drain you may not be precisely assessed because it mixes this part so if you previously measures this one you can easily identify it but in accidental if you are not measured previous amount you may not be able to assess the amount present so because of those two reasons one is patient have to overcome high pressure and the second one is measuring difficulties so two bottle system they introduce we'll see what is there in two bottle system this one containing one bottle and two bottle two bottle system the patient end bottle is in the somewhere up not submerged in the fluid actually there's no fluid at the beginning because of the draining gradually it accumulating i will draw it in the red color because we can think then hemothorax with the gradual accumulation the fluid level goes up but your air in this part can escape through this submerged system because of that the pressure will not rise so air come into this part and went via this one here air also come because of that pressure goes up once that pressure is enough to overcome this water column resistance 2 cm so air can escape so this system is much better system rather than this one because it can remove the air as well as air from here and we can collect the fluid as well those system called two bottle system we will see what is three bottle system three bottle system very very similar first two bottle system up to here it containing patient end here nothing there first with the accumulation the blood now accumulate the pressure inside will rise to release that submerged system approximately two centimeter then the exhale part of the third tube it's first tube second tube third tube again connected to the another bottle and again another tube connecting to the third bottle but both are not in the water column somewhere up above the water column and you, here you can apply suction here you can apply suction so once you apply the suction here they can create negative pressure here negative pressure 
because of that even though it is in the water column the here pressure is minimal maybe somewhere around 0 millimeter mercury so because of that air can easily come into the system and goes out we will see how much of suction I going to apply here usually there is another tube there is another tube in the third bottle that tube submerged in the water approximately 20 cm that means until you create 20 cm negative pressure here the air will not come from here to down if you create negative pressure more than 20 air from outside come and draw into inside I will repeat it again you apply suction here you gradually increase the suctioning pressure because of that here pressure gradually become negative so here become gradually negative so once this pressure is less than atmospheric pressure air can come from outside to inside so because of that air can draw into the fourth third bottle to prevent that the maximum suction pressure you should apply it should be less than this water column height of this water column the suction pressure should measure with centimeter h2 so maximum suction pressure we are going to apply in this patient is not this patient roughly less than 20 centimeter and more than 5 centimeter so 5 to 20 centimeter h2 suction pressure you can apply for your patient those are the single bottle, those are the two bottle, those are the three bottle system of IC drain system. So, we will see what are the precautions you should have when you are anesthetizing or given anesth when we are trying to give anesthesia for a patient with IC tube. So, number one concept, number one concept is you should not clamp the IC tube especially draining IC tube should not clamp if you are going to give a positive pressure ventilation to patient with uh, IC tube the IC tube should not be clamped number two concept is the draining of IC fluid, inter, inter, dra draining of the fluid into collection should be done, draining of the intercostal fluid should be done cautiously and controlled pressure. I will explain it. Draining cautiously and controlled pressure. Sorry, controlled pressure. If you are not going to do that one, if you are not, your patient came with large amount of pleural effusion, massive pleural effusions. Now what I am going to do is you are rapidly trying to remove the fluid collection. You insert in ICU. Now it is draining, draining, draining. Once it is more than 1.5 at a time, or more than 500 ml per hour, one more than 1.5 per time. Oh, more than 500 ml per hour what happens is your collapsed lung now gradually start to expand not gradually the rapidly try to expand your collapsed lung is now almost in a disease state because because of that collapse collapsion because of that collapse corruption air will not come into that area that because of that, that area will undergo hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction with that cytokine development and reduced production of surfactant as well. Because of that, they, that area vessels are not healthy as compared to normal lung. I will explain it again. Because of the collapse of the lung, you, that area of your lung is will not perfuse as well as not oxygenated. Because of that, the amount of cytokine production is high in that area. 
local cytokine production. In addition to that, surfactant production, production also less. Because of that, the, that, UI, that area vessels are not good as well as alveolar capillary membrane also not that much good. If you are going to improve the circulation and oxygenation rapidly in that area by rapidly removing the collection and fluid can leakage into the alveoli and you can create re-expansion pulmonary edema. Re-expansion pulmonary edema. Now you know the pathology behind the re-expansion pul pulmonary edema. And when you are mechanically ventilating the patient, when you are mechanically ventilating the patient, the bottle should always keep in the below, about 1 meter from the patient chest, 1 meter below. So during the mechanical ventilation should not clamp and the bottle should be 1 meter below from the patient thoracic cavity and in case of if your patient having air leak continuously you have to use less pressure for less pressure for ventilation or low tidal volume ventilation in air leak following surgery or following spontaneous bullet rupture and air leak you have to use less tidal volume and less pressure for ventilation because if you are going to have a high pressure that air leak will be there continuously so because of that it will not heal properly because of those problems and you you are now replacing the third bottle because it is very, very huge and bulky because of that the same concept are there in multifunction IC bottle system you can use the multifunction IC bottle system instead of three bottle system to have a better outcome and better drainage of the throat portal cavity now that's this uh, simple thing regarding the IC, IC drain system I want to highlight the again one, there is a thing called one bottle system, two bottle system and three bottle system. Indications you know already, the part you already know and the importance of the water seal, you know how much of water column should be there, why it should not be more than that and why it should not be less than that and that how much of suction I am going to apply, why that suction value came. Okay. That is or regarding the postal.